ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Scorekeepers Podcast, where we're always keeping the score. I am one of your hosts, Robert. To the left of me, we have Stats and Research. How's it going? In parts unknown, we have Khalil. What up? And last but not least, a man who's looking, hopefully, to be continuing his uh, his rant at the end of the show for another year. We have Clayton. Howdy. All right, what's up, guys? How y'all doing? Happy New Year. Oh, yeah. Happy Happy New Year to y'all, you know. Another year we all made it, you know, just saying. Cheers to that. You can't cheers water, it's bad luck. Right. Right. Should, well, right. Like Stone Cold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Khalil, I heard you had a story. I did not have a story. Yeah, oh, what did I you totally mean? Oh, come on. I totally man of the year that. over there. Yo, that I didn't. Is a right so- man of the year. He's That's a man of the year over man there. Of the year. He came in the house and was like, I mean, there's a story to tell, but I guess I'll save it for the pod. It's now the time. It's not my story to tell. Whose story to tell is it? it? it okay, they, I'll they tell it. They have, they have the front, cho- front row seats. You want to you do it? I, I'll go tell for it. You go story. for it. Tell a story. Tell a story. Because if I tell the story, it's going to be boring. So, so we're going to set the scene here. Yeah, right. but his is going to be going to drag it out. Minutes. Yeah, it yeah, will. Yeah. But it's Condense gonna be it. it's gonna be great. Condense All right, we're at shots. We're in the middle of the uh, the back room over there. All right, we got the game on. We're watching. Uh, I believe Ohio State was driving at the time. Um, Khalil departs for a second as a a woman. Somebody uh, tapped me. A lady. Started if you will, tapped, tapped him on the shoulder. Tapped him on the shoulder. Gave him a a message. Uh, apparently, the message was, do you and your friends want to come dance with me and my friends? Uh, Khalil let us know. Robert and I took a look. And Chris took a look. We were oh, kinda, Chris went? Yeah, Chris came. Oh, nice. Us. Yeah. Uh, we were kind of, for those of you who don't know, Chris is Robert's little brother. Um, and we were kind of like, eh, whatever. Uh, I told Khalil, we're going to watch. Uh, let me watch the game and we'll see how it goes. Watching the game, all right, game ends, you know, homie just shanked that kick. That was nasty. Um, and then um, she comes back uh, She comes back over. Did she come back over? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she came back over. Um, Khalil uh, uh, went over there with her. We kind of just, like, migrated with him, but we did not, like, get in. Yeah. We, we stayed outside of the pool. For the record, I said... I said, I'll take one for the team so y'all can do a dance with the other girls. Let's get the story straight. <laughs> that is true. That's true. true. He did say that. But the all part right. also is the team then did like a little huddle and then looked to the left and then we were all like. Uh, close feet. Uh, yeah. Cold feet. Really feet. No, there, there was nothing, there, was nothing there for me. We were interested. <laughs> and look, 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 look. Uh, this, this, this might sound. I see, I see where that look, was. Look, look. Hey, I'm not going to say it. Look, I'm keeping the peace. Uh, I'm taking hey, the high road. Keep, y'all have a blast. <laughs> take your high road. Right. This, we can easily turn this into a slandering. Of Khalil, but we're not going to do that. There's we're no not. need to. There's no need to. It's too funny because that that's not really what happened here. He he was a hero out there. He did. He tried to take one for the team. And did we low key leave him hanging? Yeah, we did. But if we <laughs> did, <laughs> what did Morgan Freeman say? Not all heroes wear capes. There you go. <laughs> all villains wear grins. Um, and uh, so you know the nice part. He he was over there. He spent like the whole night over there, basically. Um, Not the but whole night, like half mm, the night. All right, yeah, because well, we were there for like an hour. All right, yeah. so probably like half the night over there. The, I was there for half the night because for the record, at some point, I wasn't able to move. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, we got you. We got cool. you. We run, got run you. Run away, love. So, so we're there. All right, <laughs> me, Chris, Robert, we're doing our thing. We're vibing the music, having a good time. I look over, um, and what do I see? She is sitting on Khalil's lap. And, but, but, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Are we recording? Is this, like, is there video? Yes, sir. Give me your glasses, Robert. Oh, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> she is sitting down, looking at her phone. With the glasses on? The, re- glasses? the reading glasses. <laughs> right, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. How wait for it. Was she? Right here. Right here. I hold don't on. Know. I don't know. You, you hold on, Clay. She had reading glasses. Clay, I got you, brother. Old you got to look at this. Old enough to scroll through Facebook. Oh, yeah. She had the, she had the, <laughs> she had the old lady one. Like, here you go, brother. Look, look, look. Right here, right here, right here. Just like this. <laughs> Mind you, like five minutes earlier, she had him on Instagram Live like this. 
I thought it was like well, Snapchat, Instagram. Instagram, Instagram Facebook Live. Facebook live my he bad. came back. She's a little I can't seasoned. Be Sorry. On Facebook. I, yeah. I ain't he can't. That. He can't. Here, wait till your, your glasses back. Wait till your mama see you on Facebook. Yo, right. and then. You know how I give it up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. There's a reason why I stayed in South Florida, right? Oh. The moms? Apparently. <laughs> Brandon. Yeah, I, I told the story. Oh, that was that was it? That, I, no, that's not oh, it. That's oh, right. well, that's well, right. okay. <laughs> There's a little bit more, but that's the funny part. That's like, It doesn't get better. Like, literally, honestly, that was so funny. That, when did we leave? Like, 1.30? One, yeah, around, around one We left at, like, 1.30, 2 o'clock. I like to say escaped. Co- they were kind of like, all right, what do you want to do? You want to, like, go somewhere else? I'm kind of like, brother. Like what I saw there with them glasses, I, I'm good to go home, brother. Like that, that was hilarious. All right, you want me to? But, take, you gonna finish it? But then Khalil came. He comes over. To, you, you want to finish it, Khalil? No, I just want to say for the record, she had a fat ass. She, she did. I'm just gonna get that she out did. there. I'm gonna get that out there. That's that that thing thing. And then, and then <laughs> she, uh, Khalil. Uh, but then eventually it took a turn for the worse. It did. It 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 got it got real. Do you do you want to tell that part or? Because I'd be telling this secondhand. I'd just be saying what you told us. Yeah, sure. Okay. okay, so apparently um, she was feeling in a very uh, pit bull kind of move, trying to take him to the hotel room. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. What was your response? Oh, he... Uh, well, he no, no. It, no. What first, what happened was she wanted to come back to my spot. I was like, ha, ha, I got a roommate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. he said that. He, he said did? That. Yeah, he oh, said I that. Oh, I didn't remember yeah, hearing that. To, yeah. I, was like, I was like, you know, I came with my friends or whatever. She was like, I'll take you. I was like, I was like what? Of course she <laughs> hey, will. Put the brakes on it. Let's slow it down here. Um, she probably has a minivan anyways. Oh. Who knows? Nice. Could it take all of you guys? She can't. <laughs> hey, don't hey, play hey, me. Hey, don't play me. Yeah. She you came mean like Kayvon, what what's that kid's name from LSU? Oh no! Uh uh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the first time he comes over to us. Mm-hmm. Then he comes over to us again later on. He's like, yeah, like she she keeps trying to be persistent. Like she wants me to to like what sp- spend the night with you at a hotel or wherever she was staying at. The Yo, Holiday Inn. That's not even like before even that. He came and told us that like her friends like she was leaving. Oh yeah, her people, her people left. Like she like left. She stayed for you. She came back. She stayed for the black king. He thought Hot he thought he, he got like out. Hot commodity, a little tenderoni over there. Look at it. Pause. <laughs> yeah. I said pause. I said pause. I said pause. I said pause. <laughs> now what? The- <laughs> oh no, man. No, nah, I said pause. That's not no. That was crazy. No. Yo. You call your homeboy. Yo, yo, yeah. You know what? I, uh, Robert, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I gotta be fair, Robert. That's no, one. I said pause. That's one. He didn't I'm say sorry. pause. It's a, fi- it's a foul. He didn't say pause. At least I don't. That one was with a fucking gif of a woman. That was suspect too on different levels, but I'm leaving it alone. <laughs> Robert, I don't make the rules. It's a foul. I'm sorry. Nasty work, <laughs> that's nasty. <laughs> We won't call you sugar baby. Like I don't even. We won't call you. <laughs> shit, that's what I'm trying to be at least. Oh shit! You missed the opportunity. Then should have. She did not suggest any in any way that she had money. Okay. Hotel for the night. Co- bro- brother, you should have seen her yeah. wig. Oh, Bruh. was not great. Oh. So, at do you mind me asking what kind of ethnicity? Oh, she was black. Oh, okay. Black with blonde hair, blonde wig. Oh. She had a blonde weave. A w- yeah. Oh, I don't know that. All right. Um. A wig. So, wait, where weave. Going so at one point, Khalil's had enough. He kind of he wanted to go home. Et wanted to phone home. So we try to. We try to escape. So we go to the other side of shots, not because we were in the inside. You were in the inside, yeah. so you are trying to go outside. Yeah, we so, went outside. so we're kind of cooling outside a little bit, you know, trying to wait for her to kind of leave. We start realizing, she, she starts kind of, she kind of looking for him. Mm-hmm. So at one point, this nigga was Baby, come ducking back. by the bar, ducking. My brother, thank God he's like six six foot tall or whatever. He's trying to, even though this idiot wouldn't stand in position. He wouldn't stand in the right spot. But to be honest with you, That's how Chris many is get the rookies on the team. They don't, yeah, they don't stand yeah. in the right spot. Hey, Chris is fucking like a Slim Jim, dog. Like, is that no, like he's going to... Oh, no, 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 no. We had, I had, we, okay, so we're, st- you know how they got those tables outside? Yeah. All right, so they had the tables. Khalil was like, part, part of Khalil was blocked by the dude sitting at one of the tables. Mm-hmm. All I needed was to make sure Chris can fill in that gap, but he wouldn't do it. Are, are you all right? You had a I don't know how to malfunction it. there? Yeah. 
uh, he 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 was look. We, I was trying to get him to come set the screen. He didn't know what the hell was going on. It was it was it was, it was a mess. It was terrible. But we got him out of there safe. Safe and sound. Yes, we did. So, so wait. Life. So did you get a New Year's kiss? No. Oh no. no oh no. no this no, happened no. after. You know, oh, we watched okay. the game for like no. literally. No, I, yeah, dead ass. I was like, dead I was ass. Talking to him, I'm like, give me a couple minutes. We'll come back and we watched the rest of the game first. <laughs> He's going back over there. Yeah. Priorities. Of course. Priorities. Oh, that's it, though? Yeah, it was a funny night, though. That was okay. hilarious. The rest of the night, I don't know. Seems like about. you guys have had two back to back fun nights. Or in, in terms of New Year's, I mean. Last year's New Year's. Mm, that was a define, fun night. Define fun. Not really fun. <laughs> and don't you, don't you start. You better uh, leave that alone. You was out here talking about, I'm going to talk four to five minutes. You trying to have me talk four to We'll do the whole podcast nah, on this. We can. Nah. Yes, we already did it last Leave year. it alone. Move on. Last. Leave all it right, alone. All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to completely sideswipe everyone to go into more unfortunate news after telling that beautiful story. Um, as you guys know, this is a sports podcast, so we have to talk about sports. But uh, I just got to give a shout out or a prayer to Damara Hamlin. As you guys haven't seen, I'm assuming you guys have. Everyone has uh, that's listening. He collapsed on the field Monday night in the second quarter of the bills Bengals game. Um, we don't need to talk First quarter. Oh, it was the first quarter. Uh, yeah, halfway through the first quarter. We don't need to talk about the collapsing. We don't need to talk about the video. Everyone's seen it. He Let's have him have his piece. A uh, couple good news coming out of it. His toy drive donation. Uh, club is like at a 5.5. 6.6. Oh, now it's at 6.6. As of, like when I saw like two hours ago. Oh, okay. So now it's at $6.6 million. So that's good. His GoFundMe is going out there as well. Hey, um, he has a GoFundMe. I thought that was just a toy drive. It was, it's, yeah, it's a, on a, it's a no, GoFundMe. It's like oh, the toy drive. It was a GoFundMe yeah, for like the toy drive. Oh, I, was like, I thought it was okay. two different things. My bad. Um, but now there's a lot of chaos going on. We have a lot of playoffs coming up. Uh, seating, most importantly. Uh, the Chiefs are sitting there at two. The Bills are currently sitting there at one. We talked about it last week. Um, with the Bills, if they beat the Bengals, they would have been the number one seed. They would have, you know, they could have rested their starters in week 18. As of right this second, we don't even know if this game is going to be played. They haven't really talked about it. Uh, they did say that they had conversations as to um, restarting the game from that point. Um but I just want to ask you guys, rather than actually getting into the whole specifics, Hurdy's doing okay, by the way. Positive, He's doing better. Positive. 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 Better than negative. He's still um, in critical condition. That, yeah. Um, as if you were the commissioner of the NFL, uh, how would you go about this situation in terms of restarting the game or even restarting the game at all for playoff like seating? At that moment? No, not at that moment. By the way, I need to give a shout out to Scott Van Pelt and Ryan Clark. What they did was fantastic. Did you watch that? I did. Ryan Clark yeah. was very good. Yeah, Ryan Clark and Scott Van Pelt did a very good job in talking about what was going on in the field. But no, nah, not in that moment. Now that we've had, I guess, time to decompress, I guess, it's still a very heartful situation. But now that we've had time to decompress about the whole situation, would you restart the game and how? Or would you not even restart the game at all? Um, well, it, from what it does, it sounds like they're going to extend the season a week. Okay. So, basically, when the first week of playoffs should be, that will the Bills and the Bengals will play that week. And okay. then, um, you know, then the playoffs will start the, the week Following after that. Week. Um, that's what I've heard. I don't think it's like – Concrete, because at, at the moment he's still he, he is still in critical condition. He's, mm -hmm. He has not regained consciousness or anything like that. Um, so the, the I think know, he's sleeping with a breathing tube. Yeah, they, he's yeah. on. He they have him intubated. So yeah. he, he they the concern of obviously the Bills and and uh, the league as it should be is is on him. So I, mm -hmm. I don't think you're gonna see any announcement or anything like that until at least there's more clarity mm -hmm. on on how he's doing um but i think i think that that should be the way to go i i don't think anybody so just make the week longer like have an extra honest, i don't think there should be any look it'll be chaos it but, will be chaos but at that point look you've already they've already announced they're not playing the game this week 
what what was it for like baseball? They call it like game one sixty three. Game one sixty three. Yeah. Um, they've already announced that the game's not going to get played this week. Mm-hmm. So I don't blame them all, obviously. At that, yeah, as they should have. Yeah. Um, it should not be played this week. Um, and because you're not playing it, like you're not playing it on Thursday. Yeah. Um, because of that, um, it's going to be like it's just it's going to be chaos. It's going to screw up the schedule and stuff like that. So since you're already down that road, quite frankly, I don't think that game should be um, scheduled until we have um, more clarity on on him. Because I just I can't imagine that anybody on that team. Uh, even the Bengals, like I can't imagine that they, I, I, the Bengals have to play. The Bills have to play this week. Yeah, I, I I'd imagine that that neither of those teams are really mm-hmm. up to doing it. Mm-hmm. Quite frankly, I don't blame you. Um, and so, um, unfortunately, this is the NFL. It is a a uh, multi billion dollar business, and both of those teams are actually. I do they both have a shot at the one seed? Did the Bengals have a shot? No, they just no, the they do. They, they have like an outside it. shot. Yeah, right? they have like an outside shot. They need wins over the Bills and Ravens, and the Chiefs need to lose to the Raiders. That's yeah, that's so you know they both of these teams are obviously competitive at the top of the conference. So at some point, the game you kind of probably have to play this game at some point. I think, but ideally, I think it should. If you could, in an ideal world, it should probably be similar to what the uh, Virginia did when they had those three players. Yeah, that were uh, they yeah. just basically canceled the rest of the season. Like they didn't play mm-hmm. because uh, the, I mean, Virginia had nothing to play for. They weren't, they're not good and stuff like yeah. that. And it's just like going out there for what? Like three of your teammates were were murdered by somebody who was on your team. Yeah, you know. And so it's just that's that's my opinion. Mm-hmm. But you know, you if it was up to me, I would just. I would just keep either give them a tie each, or I would just keep whatever the score was and move on. It was seven to three. Is it? There could be a game that's seven to three. I'll just move on. No, I'm just saying it was seven to three in the start of the first quarter. Yeah. I mean, I with what you were saying, I do mostly agree with what you were saying in terms of uh, maybe if that's what they were talking about, giving it the extra week because in in all honesty, then you're actually giving whoever clinches for a seed, you're giving them two weeks, I guess you could say, but in reality. Both these teams are fighting for the first seed. Uh, the Bills are, if they just beat the Bengals, I think they clinch. They clinch. Yeah. Oh, no, they win. They need wins over the Bengals and the Patriots. Yes. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, they do. So, in, in that retrospect, whoever comes out of that game with the first seed is going to, I guess, have a bit, uh, better advantage. But the team that comes out of that week losing – they have to play the playoffs the following week. I mean, well, they would have to do that this They'd week anyway. They have to anyway. do that anyway. No, I mean, yes and no. But then everyone else that you're playing has an extra week off, and they didn't even have to fight for the bye week. Well, you get what I'm saying when I say that? Yeah. The number one seed has two bye well, weeks. Okay, but everyone Bills, else has one bye week because they have to watch these the two disadvantage teams is for the Bills. If the Bills win the one seed because they have, so if they if they don't play this, they play their game, whatever they beat. The, let's say they beat the Patriots. Mm-hmm. They should. Um, and then they, they, they should is the key they word. They have to go. Play. They have to go the following week. You know, play the Bengals and let's say and, they, let's and, say they beat the and and let, let's say on they the beat the week. Bengals and let's say the Chiefs lose at some point. Yeah, and then they'll be on the bye. Um, week. Then they would get the one seed and they should and they would get the bye, but they would they would still not have two weeks of rest. Like, they would still get the bye because that's how the playoffs yeah, are structured. Yeah. But you'd you'd have you'd be playing a team that probably got a little bit additional rest. Exactly, that's what I'm like saying. Like for example, like, like for example, you're hypothetically, the first seed, but yet you clinched the first seed, but then everyone else had a week of rest. A week of rest. They did not have a week of rest. Well, no, you get what I'm saying. They'll get their week. It's just everybody else gets a that's week. That's what I'm saying. So, so why it's fight like for the first seed? To uh, me? like for example, let's say let's say they play adults. Yeah. At some point. Oh, they wouldn't because they'd get the bye. But let's say they do. Hypothetically, somehow yes. they get yes. together, they play yes. the Dolphins. A team like the Dolphins, who they lost to a, uh, and stuff like that, he's, he, he's injured with his concussion. Um, if if they get an extra – if they Dolphins were to get an extra week to, to – um, that, that could be beneficial to a team like them because the playoffs got pushed back a week. So instead of Tua needing to be ready – not this weekend, but the following. Oh, yeah, he needs to be ready the weekend after that. Exactly. So that would be so that you know 
Now, how much does that affect the Bills? I don't know. But to be honest with you, considering the circumstances, I don't think either team would care. I agree. I agree. You? Um, would you rather just leave? I actually kind of like your idea, uh, Rob. But um, there's playoff implications as a term as to why but they, they couldn't be able to do if they do the just tie? a straight up tie. No, you can still do a tie because even then there's still tiebreakers. You just do a tie. I mean, they, and then they both still have to play on Sunday. But if you give up the tie, don't you concede the no? One but you'd you you'd, you'd affect you'd affect you'd probably affect other outcomes too much. What well, other outcomes? Neither team here would get affected via <coughs> tie. That's what I'm saying. Neither would. Uh, no. That's what it says. It says there's three things for the Bills to clinch the number one seed. Win over the Bengals and the Patriots or win over the Bengals and Chiefs lose to the Raiders. Win over Patriots and the Chiefs lose to the Raiders and the Bengals lose to the Ravens. And for the Bengals in terms of the one seed, wins over the Bills and Ravens and Chiefs lose to the Raiders. Straight up like that. So. And we've seen, we, we saw with the, with the, oh, I'm sorry, we saw the the commanders and the Giants. The tie don't, it helped, it helped more than, than anything. It did help more than anything. That's Not actually true. Well, that's because they, they started Carson Wentz. God bless him. Taylor Heineke. And then right back to He's the trash too. Whoa, don't come after the Green Lizard like that. Who? Heineke? What'd trash. you call him? The Green Lizard. He's trash. What the I've fuck you call him? Never that heard for? of that. Never, what? Heard, never heard of that. No. I've never heard that nickname. Is it, you like that? a little with it or something? I think it's because he played for the, uh, the, what you call it, XFL team. Um, oh, the Vipers? The, Vipers, the Tampa yeah. Bay Vipers? <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard um, of them before. Nah, yeah, I thought about it. I was like, they should um, reschedule to finish the game. But at this point, I think both teams don't give a fuck about 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 when mm-hmm. about the win at this point. Um, I agree. They probably should just chalk it up and just throw a tie in there. Fuck it. I mean, in other situations, it could have been a situation where maybe the tie could have affected you not negatively or positively. Luckily, it doesn't affect them. But I think even if it did, they probably just like who, who gives a fuck. I like, guess. Honestly, yeah, at this no, point, I can get behind that. Yeah, at this point, the idea of finishing that game is not important. Is that that man's life? So, okay. like, do you really want to? I mean, they might play each other in the playoffs down the road. But like, do you really want to just bring them back to to do that all over again? Yeah. That kind of play. That's kind of. I don't know. Yeah. That's I, understandable. I really don't think that is that understandable. Much. It is what it is. Um, so. The only reason the only reason I asked is because I didn't really actually wanted to talk about the situation because it is a hard situation to talk about. The way that you guys were texting in the group chat when it happened because I didn't even actually um, you see, didn't see it. I didn't see oh, the I play when you guys texted. I just thought someone got concussed really bad. No. But then I I went on Twitter to watch the play. I was like, yeah, I shouldn't have watched that play. No, you and shouldn't have. No. I've seen it twice in the last year. Yeah, and. Um, so that's what, and then I, after thinking about it, I was like, "Yeah, let's let's not talk about that situation." So prayers up to Hamlin. Hopefully everything goes well. Uh, we'll get into more playoff scenarios right now. With again, the AFC, the Buffalo Bills. Do you think that they're they'll be able to beat the Patriots this upcoming week? I'm not gonna lie to you. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be hard. You think so? I do. Why do you say that? I'm not sure how much, how ready those dudes are going to be ready to play. I'm not even sure. That game's in Buffalo, by the way. By it could go like that, but it could be the opposite, too. <coughs> what do you mean? Like, they can come, they can out, come out firing on all cylinders? You talk- you know, sometimes guys play oh, with yeah. emotion and they just yeah. play better. So the, Bills are favored. the Bills are favored by seven that game's in Buffalo. I think they could absolutely, you know, come out there with the, you know, you know do it for, for him. SB moment uh, of the thing. year. Uh, but I just think, I think it would be very difficult. I'm, I'm only, I'll Base, I'll speak for me. I would be very difficult for me to play, and you still don't like. They, you don't know if he's gonna be okay. Like he's doing yeah. better. He's doing better. He's he's trended positively. Like you know since, mm-hmm. um. But he, like I like I don't know if he re- like his dad said that he they had to resuscitate him twice. Oh, in the hospital? No, 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 no. on the field. Oh, oh that like, I knew. That like, I knew. Yeah. Like he, so what? So like what they said. What I believe happened was like so he had the thing. They did the CPR, resuscitated him. They were loading him in the ambulance, and then all of a sudden they like stopped. They stopped loading him in the ambulance. They had to put him back down and resuscitate him again. Oh shit! I didn't know that. And so like that's that's the, it, you know, fortunately he's, he's like I said he's trending positively and hopefully he continues to do that, um, but still like you don't you don't know if he's okay yeah you know what i'm saying and so it would be very difficult for me to go play a game knowing that mm-hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, you just, it's not that I don't want to win. It's not that I don't want to go out there and do it for him and all that stuff. Like, it's hard to focus. I think I think what you said is probably the the more trending direction. I think they will come fired up. I think they'll probably have, like, one big prayer. Like, they have maybe the whole – both teams prayer in the middle of the field or something like that. But I think they'll come fired up trying to play for their teammate. Yeah, I don't think they'll come I, flat. I, I'm not saying that they're going to come flat, but I do understand – I don't think it's about flat. I think – No, but I understand the – the mental lapse. For, I, I I get what you're saying. For me, I think they will start there, but it, look, you know, this is football, man. What happens if if you know, I don't know, somebody they, they give up a pick six or like a bad play, and then like, yeah, you know what I'm the saying? Mental lapse is gone. That's that's what I'm talking about. I think I think they're like mentally. I think that they as a team will be so fragile mm-hmm. that look if they look the Patriots are not good. So like you know if they go out there and like they you know they get up there and they're putting it on them and the Patriots uh, you know yeah. have nothing for them then they should be fine. Mm-hmm. But you know if if the Patriots. Um, kind of do what they did to the Dolphins. Like, they have a little bit of a, you know, the Dolphins were riding high. Like, they had it, and they made a play, big swing, those mm-hmm. big swing plays. Patriots have one of those. I'm not so sure that the Bills will, would respond. You think they'll be deject- uh, dejected? Not that they'll be dejected. It's more about just kind of like like the folk. Okay, so if they have a big, okay, they have a big swing play like that that happens, can they – can they stay focused on their goal of doing it for him? Or is it, like, for example, let's say Josh Allen throws a pick six. Like, mm-hmm. they're in the red zone. They're driving. They're about to go up 17 nothing. He throws a pick six. It's 10-7 now. Can Josh Allen stay focused and be like, all right, no, we got to keep doing yeah. this? Or is it like, fu- like, damn, I'm fucking it up for him? Yeah. Like, and put too much pressure on, on himself. Yourself. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's re- That's my concern. That's that's the concern I have for them. Cool. Do you think that the Bills would win over the Patriots? Yeah, I still think they'll win, but I don't think it's going to be like uh, – like, I don't think they're going to stomp them out necessarily. I no? think it's going to be a closer game, um, but I think they'll be fine. Okay. Uh, the next game uh, that has number one seed implications, uh, the Chiefs, they need a win over the Raiders and one Bill loss or two Bills losses, depending on if they play that game. Um, the Chiefs are playing the Raiders – where is this game? Where is this game? They're playing Saturday. <laughs> it's in Vegas, and the line is nine and a half. We have the Chiefs winning that game. I need I the Chiefs know. to win Stid that game. Stid him. Stid him is pretty good. I need the Chiefs to win that Two game. Two backup quarterbacks putting up thirty-five points. Gardner Minshew. Um, <laughs> wow. The Cincinnati Don't Bengals. Uncle Rico Shut like the that. fuck up. He can you. fucking get out of here. Uh, you don't have Teddy bridged over trouble waters, yeah. okay? You were calling him fucking Teddy Mahomes in there in when? the chat. <laughs> you did. No, uh, no uh, was it him? It was Brandon. No, it was not no, Brandon. No, he, no, no. I have it. Robert shut put up. the tweet. I need everyone to you, shut it, up. It was like an Omar Kelly tweet, I think. Oh, it was an Omar yeah. Kelly tweet. Oh. <laughs> here we go. I got it right here. That's before the game. Robert sends a tweet. Teddy Mahomes water. And then you emphasized it. So, so that's because of the touchdown. <laughs> you saw that's that touchdown. The touchdown. Yeah, it was but the then best throw of the night for him, asshole. But <laughs> but then who? Uh, hello. Hello. <laughs> Manning. Oh my watch, my watch. Sorry. Oh, oh. Siri. Oh, <laughs> Special guest Siri. Thank you very much. Uh, how how was I supposed to know that Teddy Bridgewater has never seen a Tampa two in his life? That Gardner Minshew has never disgusting. seen press man in his life. That at least it wasn't a pick six. At least six. it wasn't Tampa. It was two. a pick six. Not like to, and he broke his hand too. He oh, f- no, 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 no. I was gonna let him slide when they said they he broke a finger. It was dislocated. Get your punk <laughs> ass back in there. No, 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 no. Get out of here. You know how many quarterbacks I've seen dislocate their finger and get back in the game? I watched Ben Roethlisberger beat us with his shoulder hanging by a thread. That's what I'm saying, man. (laughs) Chump. Uh, Enough of him. (laughs) Fucking Mr. Glass. Asshole. (laughs) Okay. Just as good as theirs, apparently, when he's on the fucking field. I'm not gonna lie to you. Jesus I, Christ. 
unbelievable. I mean, that is very upsetting. It really is. But I just, I don't understand this phenomenon that apparently when Greg Little is in the game, nobody on the offensive line knows how to block. Like, none of them. Connor like, Williams. no one. No one. Not one. Every single time you line Greg Little up at left tackle, all of a sudden, they fr- what is blocking? Like, I, it was nasty. It wasn't even like, I couldn't even be, like, mad at Greg Little because it's just like, you know, you're out here, oh, damn, man, he keeps beating you off that left edge there. That's tough. Got to sure that up. Nope. Connor Williams can't block nobody. Liam Eikenberg sitting on his ass. Everybody, everybody can't block. Robert Hunt false starts for no reason. You know the snap count. Get out of here. I can't do it. I mean, Jason Kelsey false started twice, and he's the center. I couldn't be a football coach. <laughs> I By the way, since we're on the Dolphins rent, so we can get back to the rest of the show, I just want to not get it out of the way now. Byron Jones? No. Nah. I will never forgive him, by the way. I, that's where I thought this was nah, going. No, but you, you're, in the right, you're in the right department, though. Keon Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Kid, did you you didn't Why watch Keon? the game. Did you see Why? it? I had, I had my game. Every on. single time they threw the ball down the field, Whether he made all it pass I saw, not even just him, every time, flapping in the wind. every time, bro, every single time they threw the ball down, I swear to God, if Andy Dalton was the quarterback, we lost that game by 40. Jesus Christ. Every time. Only, only because Back of the jersey, that's all passes. I saw. Looking only like Keely Ringo out there. Disgu- oh. I have stats for you. I have stats for I you. did. I saw that I stat. Have stats for you. I saw the stat. I saw the stat. <laughs> Uh, can I move on? Yes. No, nah, hold on. Yeah. No, yeah. we need, we need, we, we I'm need to, to bleep this people out. need to I'm answer. I'm going to bleep this out. I'm going to bleep this out. Yeah, Keon Crossing, yo, <laughs> pissed off. Why are you <laughs> mad at him? I told you you shouldn't be mad at him. Bro, that shit was sick, Chris bro. Greer, he need to answer for his war crimes. Chris this. Greer. Why is hey, he my CB2? Hey, Josh Boyer, you know that. Oh, oh, time out, time out. Whoa, whoa, time out. Bring your finger back. <laughs> you. What? <laughs> What? No, 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 no. I've been on Chris Greer's I ass know pause. you were. We were calling Chris Greer a UT fucking two years ago, but it's a Who new me? year. Yes. <laughs> what? I don't, hey, hey, Robert? Well, Robert's we a Chris Greer supporter over we here. Were, we were calling. <laughs> he ride for we Chris were Greer. Calling, brother man, we were brother calling man. Chris Greer a UT brother two man. years ago, but then we were calling Super Bowl. We were riding high, and now you're calling for Chris hey, Greer's job. Hey, hey, listen, listen. Oh. That don't mean nothing. Bleep that. Bleep that. That don't mean Bleep nothing. Bleep that. Bleep that. Bleep that don't that, mean please. nothing. <laughs> For the love of God. Fine. For the love All right, of God. You can get, listen, you know who else? Well, Look, a lot of things you, you like Adidas. That down. Make sure you write that down. You like Adidas? The mark. You like Adidas? No, I don't. Actually, where I don't. Come from? Huh? Where the heck come from? 47. Now, don't be capping. We know you got some. We know, we know you got some Adidas. We got some. You got some Adidas. You got some. You got some Adidas paraphernalia. Fin- fin- <laughs> there it is, right there, right there. Yeah. It's not my fault. That you could thank jersey. your friendly neighborhood. Oh, all right, all right, okay, all right. Okay, that's okay, twice. Okay, okay, that's okay. twice. That's twice. That's twice. That's twice. That's twice. All right, look, look. Oh look, fuck. Look. But yeah, I was just trying to finish that up for you. Went on your rant. War crimes. He'll answer for. That's fine. What did I say? What did I say? 500,000 lashes. But you forgot one more person. Who got the belt? <laughs> no, going nuclear right now. Oh, my God. No, but for real. But Dr. Umar can say it, but I can't. That is true. No, it's not because Dr. That Umar is a certified uh, nut job. He's allowed to <laughs> get that off. Wait, what? <laughs> no, wait. All right, we got to stop. All right, you said you, said you gave 250,000 for Josh Boyer. Okay. Thank you. There we get it, Josh Boyer. Josh Boyer. If you know he can't cover nobody Bro, in press. Why black men get 500000 last year, but Josh Boy only get half of it? What, what's happening there? What's happening there? Where is this show going? Where is this show I, going? I actually think I gave him each 250000 in my Wait, original time. I don't know. Check, check the tape. I'm just right. saying, Josh I know Boy. for sure I think I gave Josh Boy 250000 I'm going to look up lashes. There you go. <laughs> no. That's exactly what you should look at. It's right there. The sentence of indictment, indictment. Of, of the indictments are as followed. That's there right. We go. Byron Jones. Should I be allowed should to say this? The, should we do the sound effect, Khalil? The look. <laughs> Give it a belt. Go get a belt. Go get a belt. Am I allowed, am I allowed to say this? We, we can't let the only white man on the podcast uh, oh, list out the lashes. You're right. You're right. You're right. He can't, he can't read the punishments. Jesus okay, Christ. here we go. Byron Jones. Byron Jones. <laughs> 250,000 lashes. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you. 
Never forgive you. I'm gonna be on your ass like J- like <laughs> pause. <laughs> 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 like like Khalil like Khalil be on Jalen Ramsey. I don't care. Okay. I don't care. I don't care if he leaves his team and becomes an all pro for the next five years. Every time you slip in, I'm there, buddy. I'm there. I will never forgive you. <laughs> like a bad neighbor. Uh. Chris Greer, 250,000 lashes. See? It was less. It was half. Yeah, but he just upgraded nah, but, to 500,000 a second ago. No, nah, but jo- Josh Boyer Josh Boyer did get 200,000. Uh, but I, g- I gave him a little discount because he got some injuries. Now, now, the injuries are fine, but like I said, Keon Crossing. The special teams, the the special teams specialist over here is your CB2. I don't think man coverage is a good idea for the whole game. I'm just saying. I think he's on the list. Ahmad Richards, Ahmad Richards, the uh, Miami receiver said, this man playing cover, this man playing uh, man-to-man the whole game with talent as good as my seven-year-old sister. (laughs) Wait, what? He should be fired immediately, and I concur. Finish it up. Um, Keon Crossan, 75,000 lashes. It's not your fault you suck, but punishment <laughs> is a punishment. You have to answer for it, too. All right? Pat Sertan, Sam Madison, your coaches. You got to get better, son. I'm sorry. And then Teddy Shitwater, 100,000 lashes. Also, not your fault you suck. Oh, Wait a minute. One. Wrong one. <laughs> Ridiculous. God damn it. That is your weekly segment of the sports hake. The sports hate. Hague. Uh, hate. Like the International Criminal I, Court. No, no, I knew yeah. where, yeah, where we charge people with war crimes. I know. Okay. Well, the Bengals might. Next week, you'll catch me talking about Manny Diaz. Can't do it this week. He won the Rose Bowl. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, he did. Got $8 million for it. Look too. like a hater if I do that. <laughs> That's hate. Uh, keeping it, I guess I'm going to keep this fast. The Bengals can clinch the AFC North with a win over the Bills or the win over the Ravens, or they can clinch the first seed with what I said before. Uh, you guys think they beat either of those teams? I don't think Lamar Jackson plays for the rest of the regular season. I wouldn't. They're already, need to. they're in the playoffs. They are in the playoffs, but they can still clinch the AFC North and have a better seeding. Oh, but they yeah. got to play the... They play the no, he's not playing. He didn't. He didn't. Uh, play, he didn't they practice. have to. Uh, they play the, the Ravens to no, no, clinch. No, not the, the Ravens to clinch the AFC North have a Bengals loss to the uh, need to have the Bengals lose to the Bills if that game happens, and have that win over the Bengals. That's why that can't. That's why that game Wait, can't end in a tie. That's who the Bengals play. Yes, it's the Ravens. That's what I said. Oh, sorry. That's I, why I, that I game can't end in a tie. Oh. If you give them a tie, then they clinch. Ah, uh, that's true. That game's in Cincinnati, by the way. Cincinnati's favored by seven. How about we just stop putting people on that Cincinnati field? Uh, is that like an ancient burial ground someone, or something? Did, someone, did, did one of my boys, where, uh, no, Brown got y- that smacked? one of my boys at work you had a Brown. whole line of people that got hurt on that it's field, and I can't Brown. remember it now. But Antonio Brown was one of them, and now I'm annoyed that it happened. Joe yeah. Burrow got hurt on that field. It, way too many injuries. Carson on Palmer. Palmer. Like um, <laughs> the Jacksonville Jaguars. This is the game of the week, I guess, for the Jaguars. Uh, they clinch AFC South with the win over the Titans. Titans and Jags. Next. Do you think the Jags hey, could do by it, By the way. It doesn't matter. They're like, they're, what are they, like 8 just, and 9? Oh, get out of here. Just want to say, our resident barber, who's a Jag, who's a Jaguars fan, did agree with me. He ain't rocking with Dougie P. Just saying. He don't even watch football. He does, actually. So he's a very avid Jacksonville Jaguars fan. Uh-oh. How many times have I gone there, bro? He don't talk football with me at all. Do you talk football with him? He talks about the Bulls more than he talks about the Jaguars. No, you don't talk football with him. I talk football with him. That's your fault. (laughs) He talks to me. I'm not trying to put my barber on blast, but he talks about his... Talks about that with me too, brother. It's too much after a while. I know. I think it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Because you're hating ass. We're not. We're not. All right. All right. Keep it on sports, please. The Patriots can clinch a wild card berth with a win over the Bills, or the Dolphins have to lose, the Steelers have to lose, and the Titans have to lose, which is a lot to ask for. Um, I'm not even going to talk about that. The Dolphins uh, clinch wild card berth with a win over the Jets, and the Patriots lose to the Bills. So, it could happen. No. I'll be at church on Sunday. Who's early. starting? Skylar Thompson. With a week of practice and hopefully a, a healthy offensive oh, line. I'm talking to Skylar Thompson. Mm-mm. Only thing he sees is the check down. Only thing he sees. 
It's better than throwing but, what, but what titties see? Stars. <laughs> And then, God forbid, if he gets hurt, I got to go with Mike Glennon. Mike Glennon won a game once. That's how you got paid. That's how you got paid once. Uh, And the Steelers, they need a lot. I'm not even going to talk about them. Um, Hey, man, man, going to be upset. You dissing on his team. Okay. With that, the Steelers need a win over the Browns, the Patriots to lose to the Bills, and the Dolphins to lose to the Jets. You told me it ain't over. Mm. Until it is. Uh, For the NFC clinching playoff scenarios... We have the Eagles. Cool. Uh, the Niners, they need to clinch the first round. Uh, the I mean, the number one seed with a win against the Cardinals, who are starting. Who? Again? Do you know off the top of your head? Is it Trace McSorley? I think I it's know. not even him. Uh, I don't know. Um, who knows? And, and Philadelphia needs to lose. They're going to pick somebody uh, that they're going to pick somebody out the stands. The Cowboys can clinch the first seed with a Dallas win, a Philly loss, and a San Francisco loss. Uh, they can clinch the NFC East division with a Dallas win and a Philly loss. Um, Green Bay in the playoff picture. Uh, all they need to do is win against the Lions. Meanwhile, the Lions need to need win, to win and uh, have the Seattle Seahawks lose to the Rams. Oh, that's a tough ask. It is a tough ass. That Green Bay game is in Green Bay, right? That Green Bay game is in Green Bay. What about that Rams game? That Rams game is in Seattle. Mm. Seattle's not the fortress it once used to be. That's true. It's not. It's not. But the Rams aren't fighting for anything. They're not fighting for a thing. Meanwhile, Seattle Seattle is their division rival. Seattle can go in if Green Bay loses. If Seattle beats the Rams and Green Bay loses to the Lions, Seattle goes in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot at stake in the NFC, I didn't, which I didn't think was going to happen at the end of the There's season. There's only one game on Saturday? There's two games on Saturday, which is the Chiefs-Raiders that we talked about and the Titans-Jaguars, okay. which is the game of the week. No? Okay. Oh, uh, and the Eagles just have to win, I guess, since you guys want to go on a 45-minute rant about the Dolphins. The Eagles, all they have to do is win. Uh, but there's questions as to whether the Giants are going to sit their players or not, even though they are totally locked in their spot. Like, they're not moving. They're not going anywhere. And there's already rumors about Jalen Hurts coming back this week. Also, he's the system. Can we agree on that now? Or Gardner Minshew is just bad. We can ag- No. He's the system. He's the system. We can agree on that. They didn't have a first. You want to talk about seeing stars. They didn't have a first down until 49 seconds into the second quarter. Left in the second quarter, excuse me. Going into halftime, they almost didn't have a first down. But he's not the system. Yeah, but you put up like 40 on the Cowboys. The Cowboys are not a good defense. What? They're not. Really? They're not. I don't know if you're being sarcastic or not. Oh, okay. Th- th- they're not. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan Gannon, you want to talk about fucking war crimes? He needs to be arrested for fucking war crimes. Um, do you guys think Philly beats the Giants? I don't Does Jalen so. Hurts play? Jalen Hurts, I'm assuming, is playing. Oh, if he plays, then I think so. yes. If he plays, okay. if he doesn't yes. play, I don't. Think I don't think so either. I'm not gonna lie. If he plays, I think he wins. But I think he gets. I think. I think that's gonna hurt you. I think you guys win then regardless. It, then we have a bye week. I don't. Th- I don't think the Giants are gonna play. I don't, think, he's ready I don't to come think the Giants are gonna play all the their players. The Niners play the Cardinals, like we said, and we assume that's a win. Yeah. Brock Purdy's gonna leave the regular Purdy. season undefeated. Yeah. Can't see that. Um, and the Cowboys play the Commanders, where they have Taylor Heineke. The only. The only great thing about that game is that that game is in Washington. That's the only good thing about it. Wait, uh, commanders to who? The cow- uh, commanders and the Cowboys. Oh. That's the only good thing about that game. Hey, the commanders got the new mascot, too. That shit was trash, too. Oh, speaking of mascots, Poe coming back from the hey. ACL. Oh, pair. the Kevin Shout Nash. Out Kevin Nash. Poe. <laughs> that was fucking fantastic. Shout out to Poe. Um, are we good with the playoff scenarios? Everyone's happy? Yeah, yeah we're fine. We're, yeah. we're good. Yeah. Let's get yeah. to the good stuff. Fuck you. <laughs> You want beef with me in the chat, no? <laughs> I stay low. Um, 
The college football playoff ended this past. I forgot about college football. Fuck. <laughs> Where are we? 47. <laughs> Great. Uh, the college football playoffs ended this past weekend. Probably the greatest college, not even question, probably the greatest college football playoff weekend of all time. Right? You yeah. can't think of a better one. Can't think uh, of since, no, you since can't. No, since the new format, can't, no. Yeah, you can't think of a better one. Uh, let's start off with the first game. TCU beat Michigan 51 to 45. <laughs> TCU beat Michigan 51 to 45. Uh, at one point, this game was 21 to three. Uh, TCU had an interception return for a touchdown. They had two of them. Oh, two. they had two of them. That's right. And uh, I believe, no, Michigan didn't have any. It was all offense. Max Duggan, 14 for 29, 225 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Quinton. Johnson, six receptions for 163 yards and one touchdown. Meanwhile, J.J. McCarthy had 343 yards, two touchdowns, and two interceptions. I don't usually watch the morning or the afternoon game, but I felt like I had to with this one. Um, TCU running, I don't know why I've watched TCU games this year, maybe because I they were at the end, and I just thought they were running three in and dropping eight. Three three five. That is what they run, mm-hmm. and they won. Yeah, I don't. I help. You, you know why? Help. That's not really the worst part. It's that they run a three three five with their like Manny Diaz undersized defensive tackles. Exactly. But they were killing them. And, and that's they un- were stuffing the run. And going into the game, going into the game, they were talking about how Michigan was going to overpower them in every aspect of the game. They thought they were going to run the ball down their throats. Meanwhile, Michigan, in terms of rushing, Jesus Christ, you stupid ad. Michigan, in terms of rushing, they had, hello, hello, someone speak. Someone? Anyone? 84 yards, I think. Mm. I don't know. 54 yards of rushing. Oh, really? 54. Oh, that's probably because of the sacks. J.J. McCarthy, J. J. McCarthy came in, I guess, had media press conference, said that they were going to be bring the Big Ten – uh, power to the Big 12. Do you think that happened? Mm, apparently not. <laughs> that game was fantastic, though. It really was. Uh, I don't, t- Michigan didn't lead at all during the, the course of the game. Nope. But Max Duggan made two incredible throws. Uh, one, Both of them actually going into the flats. One where he um, kind of, I guess, deked the defender and made a, a touchdown into the flats. And then one to Quinton Johnson on the other drag route to the other side that Quentin Johnson took for fucking 80 yards. Uh, but anything you guys want to talk about that game? Khalil, say it for me, please. Go go on a rant, please, because uh, no, he needs to my, fucking my hear rant it. rant on, on Chitty, uh, Chitty Br- uh, Bridgewater took me out. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, oh, uh, Fedner. <laughs> oh, Fedner. here we go. <laughs> so they weren't worth it, huh? They were going to get smoked in the playoffs, huh? Not good enough. Yeah, okay. Like I said, sometimes – Sometimes teams earn the right to get smoked in the playoffs, and sometimes they actually earn to be there. Clearly, they deserve to be there. So, you know, sorry, Alabama. Just about a second. That's all I got. I'm sorry. <laughs> Brandon, anything to go off the actual game in, in itself? The actual game? Yeah. That was a really pathetic performance by Michigan. Jim Harbaugh, my God. You should, because I'd fire him. You'll fire him off of that performance? Yes. He was not part of your fucking Schindler's list over there. Yeah, it should have been. That's my fault. Over <laughs> got my Yo. overlooked it. You <laughs> What? I thought to keep it in the theme that he was rolling with. His lashes on Schindler's list. Well, he <laughs> had Volkswagen earlier. So. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> I think that's more flagrant than I did. I just no, stated a fact. No shot. No shot. You went out of your way to say that. I just stated a fact. It's true. You could Google it. So, um, I just want to say. B.B. Cooper. Mm-hmm. The Big Ten to had you. two playoff it's teams. It's only a failure because, because he lost to TCU. They could have yeah, lost to any other team have. in that spot, and it wouldn't have been that bad. It's not if so much that Alabama, he It wouldn't have been that big, big of a deal. Right. It was there. It was all there for him. Could have finally had his one moment, his one shining moment. It's, 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 I, I don't want to make this about TCU. Steal a bag TCU. and leave, baby. Yeah. I don't want to make this about TCU, though. It's kind of just. My brother Mel is still there. 
Michigan. It's kind of inexcusable in that sake. a team runs a three three five with small defensive tackles and you can't run the ball. I was dude when I was watching and that you're game. and you're a primary like you're a run first offense because you don't pass. Your quarterback sucks. I was watching that game and it almost seemed like they knew the running play was coming every single time because they would bring the linebacker coming off that line of scrimmage mm-hmm. in that direction. Either they have the greatest fucking film room I've ever. You know, the people that run it, they have the greatest room room in my entire life, or they just got lucky as shit. Because oh, yeah, if, you're running, saw that on if you're running 3 3 5, and every single time you guess the exact right way as to what they're going, and you stop them and stuff them every single time, I, 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 don't, know what to, I don't know what to tell you. Well, that they, teams tend to um, like run to like they have tendencies. Like that's easy to see. Like, for example, the Dolphins, mm-hmm. they like to get their. Um, their off tackle runs, they only run it to the left side. Isn't that where Armstead is usually? Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Um, also, on top of that, I think TCU last year, what were they? They were six and seven or seven and six? Five, five and seven. Five and seven. They were five and seven. Now they're 13, 14 and one uh, at a chance at a national championship. Ta- yeah, 13 and one at a shot at a national championship. Um, probably the biggest Cinderella story that we've seen so far in the college football playoff, if not the right in the playoff in yeah, the yeah, playoff yeah. for yeah. sure. Um, shout out to Sonny Dykes, first year coach going to TCU, having all those transfers and just making them into a national championship team. And I guess anything off that, we're good with TCU. We'll move it over to Georgia, Ohio State. Obviously, I was not at shots with you guys because I had more important things to watch during this during this performance uh the georgia bulldogs beat the ohio state buckeyes 46 to 45 on a last second miss field goal uh that was 55 yards that was completely shanked and if you want to see my reaction to that game uh i'm probably gonna send benny the clip because it was fantastic um do you have anything to say about that game before we actually go into the actual preview of the national championship cj stroud yeah, Phenomenal. ball the fuck out. He did. He ball the well. fuck out. Uh, had 346 passing yards, and I think he had 66 rushing yards on top of that. And that's what they were actually coming after him for during the uh, the weeks before leading up to the game was that why doesn't he scramble more? And then he showed it uh, on a national scale. Do you think that he elevated himself as to the number two pick in the NFL draft? Number two? Yeah. Do you think? Why are you laughing? Ohio State quarterback. You don't like oh. Ohio State quarterback. That's right. Stop a pick. He's got a point, but I mean, I mean, when you have no help, all of them. Well, b- the rest two, in peace, Dwayne three Hackett. of them I think have turned into wide receivers, if I'm not mistaken. Braxton Miller, Braxton Miller, Terrell Pryor. Yeah. Am I missing someone else? I think. Did, well, JT Barrett never. JT really Barrett never really did himself. anything. Did no, all right, so two, so two did. For I sure. mean, I mean, and Terrell Pryor. Ended up being like a top 15 wide receiver. He was like a great wide receiver for both teams, Not for the Raiders and the Jets. Yeah, he was. Not a quarterback. Wouldn't go ahead. But um, he was pretty good. No, I, he uh, was, yeah. I think uh, he probably will go number two. Do you think, you think he will? I think he probably will. Yeah. I think there's a, um, there's a case you could go ahead of Bryce Young. You want to make that case now? Because I don't see that happening at all. Bryce Young's legit. I don't give a shit what he is. We've seen the small quarterback work out in the NFL like multiple times. When was the last one? Drew Brees. Super Bowl winner Drew Brees. And, uh, did he win a MVP in his life? Drew Brees? I don't yeah. Think so. I, don't I don't think, think he did. So. Super Bowl winner MVP. How long ago was Drew Brees drafted? That doesn't mean shit. Yes, it does. Russell Wilson, when he was with Seattle. There's a clarification to that. There's context to that. And still, Russell Wilson, how long ago was he drafted? I don't know. Ten yeah. years ago. Liter- like, I, I don't know. I still think Bryce Young is going to be number one. Who? It's Houston, right? Yeah, they only have one win. They'll they'll probably take Bryce Young. They probably will. Like, I'm sure he'll he'll probably go number one. But, but like, he's – C.J. Stroud is the bigger – So you'd rather have C.J. Stroud than Bryce Young? Yeah. Mm, I guess we'll disagree on that one. I'd rather have Bryce Young. I would, too, to be honest with you. I think Bryce Young might be the best out of all those guys. He's the best now. Yeah. I, I, I don't will, think he's close. When Will Levis 
is like the third greatest one, and Anthony Richardson is like the fourth greatest oh, one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what can we really say? Wait for what? Uh, quarterback. The rankings. quarterback big board. It's oh. a little light. Those are the only ones. Yeah. Do you want to hear the list of Ohio State quarterbacks in the NFL? Or, or can I? I can like I currently, <laughs> currently no, or no. all time. You know, I can name some people off my head. You know, Troy Smith. That went so well. That didn't go very well. Mm. That was rough. Yeah, was wasn't right. he a Heisman winner? Yeah, mm-hmm. I think so. Go ahead. There's more. Uh, oh, we, we already talked yeah, about that. Yeah, 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 we already talked about most of them. What about Cardell Jones? I said Cardell. Jones. Wasn't he on Houston at one point? He was. He was. Yeah. Um, the thing that we talked about, Kelly Ringo. Marvin Harrison, tit for tat, I guess you could say. When he was on Marvin Harrison, he had seven seconds to throw the fucking ball. Uh, twice he got lost. One was for a touchdown, and the other one was for the non-targeting targeting call uh, in the back of the end zone. Bush league. That was the most. That was the most egregious targeting I've trying ever seen in my, my life. Trying to ruin my boy's career. How dare y'all? Y'all lucky his father didn't show up. You know, it's probably about that. Actually. He went into his shoulder. With his shoulder. No, he didn't. no, he didn't. He hit him helmet to helmet. And he did not hit him. Yes, helmet. he did. Do you want to see the fucking slow mo replay? Because I'll send it to fucking Benny right now. He hit his fucking shoulder to send shoulder. Send it to Benny. He did not hit him shoulder to shoulder. Because okay, because if shoulder, that's, yeah. it did. It, to me, it did. Okay, nope. thank you. But no. I, so if I mean, wait, I mean, time, out, the, time, time out, time out, time out. Because if you're gonna call that targeting, then what the fuck was that at the end of the fucking TCU Michigan game? That was absolutely targeting. Okay, because he went with the crown of his helmet, right? Yes. Okay. This one he went the with only the only reason. The only I'm reason sorry they didn't. that CJ Stroud threw a fucking hail mary in the back end of the end zone. What do you think you're gonna do to your fucking wide receiver? Wait, what? I mean, he have to hit. He didn't have to had to hit him like that though. He would have caught it for a touchdown. What was he supposed <laughs> yeah, to do? He would have caught it for a touchdown. What you, was he gonna do, Robert? You, you don't take his head off, maybe. He didn't take his head off. He took his shoulder off. No, he didn't. He, yes, he did. He hit him went for a stripe at the ball. He hit him in the shoulder. No, he didn't. In the shoulder. And the shoulder. Brandon, you're just doing that because of Kelly Ringo. No, be- I'm actually not. I watched that play about 100 times. I'm looking at it right now. Are you watching the so- shoulder? Thank you. It Appreciate shoulder- it. Yeah. That's it's, shoulder. It, it's not. It's, it's, it's That's the end. He got cracked so goddamn hard his fucking head bobbed. And exactly. Head come on, bobbed. man. And then when you go back to replay, come on, dog. Really? It's a scary that. looking hit. I agree, but it, it, it was shoulder to shoulder. Mm. Anyway, that was so not Keely Ringo, by the way. Little. No, no, that was Javon Bullard. Yeah. But Kelly Ringo was on the coverage, is what I was saying. Yeah, he got he got burned. He didn't get burned. He had eight seconds to throw the fucking ball. Oh, well, not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> get get a better defensive line. Well, you have the number one defensive line in the country. What are you talking about? We don't have the number one defensive line in the country. Are you sure about that? I am sure. Who about has the number one? I, I know it's not there. I swore I heard you had the number Anyways, one. Anyways, Kelly Ringo. Well, I know you th- saw it. Ah! Shut up. I was going to help Stay you. Say whatever. He was one for six. And, uh, oh, no, he was Opponents wasn't. were one. Uh, he, yeah, what? he was one for six. He gave up only one catch the entire oh. game on Marvin Harrison Jr. He gave up six. On Marvin Harrison? Nope, he only gave up one. Oh, no, on Marvin. No, yeah. he gave up two. One. Two. Well, I've taken away that call. Yeah, one. Yeah, which and was the touchdown. The touchdown, that was it. At what, again, which he had eight seconds for. You got high hopes mm-hmm. for this kid, mm-hmm. boy. Mm-hmm. I don't have high hopes, but I'm just just proving the facts. I like CJ Stroud. Dude, what the heck got to do? There you go. Khalil <laughs> off the top rope. CJ Stroud against Georgia. Targeting Kelly Ringo, 6 for 13 for 69 yards in the touchdown. Everybody else, 17 of 18 for 279 yards and three touchdowns. You know what that sounds like? I rest like. my case. You know what that sounds like? versus offense, uh, TCU is going to put up points uh, just like Ohio State did. Uh, Max Duggan turned me into a fan uh, big time, the way he was uh, swinging the football around. But I don't. I saw the stat today from The Athletic. Um, they run a 3-3-5 like we already established. When they get pressure, just pressures on the quarterback, which is very easy to do. You know, we see the hurries. We see the pressures. We see the sacks. We see all that. Um, in the NFL today with stats on Fox and CBS and all that. When they just get pressure on the quarterback, they have the 13th best defense, uh, passing defense, in the FBS. 
13th. Very good for That's someone impressive. that runs, if, especially in a high-powered you know, conference like the Big 12, when they do not get pressure on the quarterback. They're 85th, which is a very far away from 13th. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say about it is just, again, this is Georgia's offense, which did not look up to par versus Ohio State's defense. Stenson Bennett made very bad throws, uh, even though he had more yards than C.J. Stroud. I mean, I think had more y- uh, uh, yards per completion on C.J. Stroud. He didn't play his best game, and I think we all saw that uh, when he especially short-armed the ball to Ladd McConkey. Did you you saw that obviously? Um, so yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about it. Defense is gonna do its thing against that offense. I'll keep it moving. Khalil, I got Georgia winning. Georgia should win. I'm gonna have some fun with it. I'm going with the <laughs> hypno toads. I'm going with Georgia. Okay. They bullied me into t- into not going with them last time. Why did I? Bu- oh, because yeah, Michigan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did Yelled do that. Me. I mm-hmm. did do that. I did do that. That is my. But fault. I knew. So that is my fault. Now I got it. Now I got to take the hypno toads. It is the biggest David versus Goliath. You know what th- it's giving me? What? Big Boise State versus Oklahoma vibes. Oh yeah. Big time. I can't think of another type of, and I saw those plays today. They're going to bring out everything. They're going to unload the clip versus Georgia. They're but I'm not gonna, this now. Now this is the game for Brock Bowers because they will have the blitz to get pressure in that middle of the field. Oh, you know what I heard? But I, obviously, with the conversation that we had earlier in the week last week. But you know what I heard? Apparently, what? apparently he had like food poisoning that day. I don't know if it's true. I'm just saying that's what happened. He what's still that, played. What's that you got on your head there? Championship cap. I'm just saying that's what it said. Oh, Darnell. That was funny. That was weak. I thought it was funny. Yeah. You just mad because you ain't get it. And then I'm the one that's wearing it, so I got it. Still didn't get it. Uh, Darnell Washington is questionable for this game. Uh, backup Dan Jackson, Ch- uh, Chaz Chambles. Uh, he's he's questionable for this game. And uh, the starting running back for TCU, I forgot his fucking name, and I'm sorry. He is also questionable for this game because he came out uh, during the Michigan game. Um, and that's it, I guess, for sports. Woo! <clears throat> what, what are we at? An hour five? That's not bad. Anything else? Final thoughts, Kalu? The mechanic is active tonight, so we're going to lose to the Lakers. He's not playing, though. LeBron's out. That LeBron's nice. not playing. Have you seen uh, Miami Heat basketball? Well, actually, they've been playing pretty well. As of they right. have been actually yeah, playing. Yeah, because Dwayne Dedman hasn't been, been playing. playing. Duncan, he's, Duncan, he's Duncan Robinson tonight. and Jovis are both out for like four weeks, though. At least at the middle. He doesn't play Jovis anyway. Yeah, he never oh, plays them for us. So Duncan, Duncan, Duncan. No, we're not complaining. The we're oh, just saying. I was just saying they're out. Orlando Robinson, though. My man. There you go. Hold on now. Stepping up. Anybody with Dwayne Dedman. man, right? Who? Four months? Who? Or is it four weeks? Four weeks. Four Relax, weeks. bro. He's been yeah, very fault, durable the whole year. Oh, three. calm down. Max Strews just started playing well. I'm not doing this with you tonight. Get out of here. But he played. He just started playing but well. He, played. he just started playing but well. He played. He ju- we'll see you in a year. You better hope. I can't wait for him to get paid. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm waiting on him. Counting yeah, the days. Like, I don't think he's been paid by the heat. They ain't giving him 90 million, so say, it don't, don't matter. I don't, think I don't care. Paid. Then he better produce like his contract. Did you hear that they're Oh, really? That's the only thing I've been saying. Duncan's not even going to be on the team next year. Stop leaving Duncan alone. This Duncan year, he might not be here at the, at the trade deadline. That's what I'm saying. You I'm didn't saying. hear? Well, in Port Side, they might trade him to Dallas for a pick. Did you see that a people pick? Are, mm-hmm. That's I'm, it? I'm not going to lie. Bro, if you get a first-round pick for him, that's If it's a first-round pick, I'll take it. I mean, he was an undrafted free agent. That's already a plus. No, but that's my guy. That's I shipped draft. him and his fucking podcast to Dallas. Goodbye. That's hate. Did you see people were calling about Bam? Uh, uh, that report? Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Please. Yeah, well, that was the same. Never mind. That was the same response that everyone else gave. Uh, Kalil. Oh, shit. What's up? Final thoughts. Oh. Um. <sighs> the Panthers need to fire their coach. Enough. I've seen enough. They actually just won. Uh, was that today? I think they won I think today. It was yesterday. Or yesterday. But I think Kachuk, the Kachuk kid had a hat trick. Yeah. They look absolutely fucking terrible. Um. They need to go ahead and just restart that. Uh, but other than that, I don't think I have anything. Fight the power, I guess. Got nothing else. I have nothing. <laughs> How do you have nothing? There's no way you have nothing. Oh, shit. Go Canes. 
Oh, yes. Source, sources have confirmed that Khalil will not be transferring. I'm staying. My, this is my home. <laughs> you know, and, you, now, my a people. lot of people enter, enter the portal after one year. I told you I Texas know. A&M was going to break that record. They have 27. Yeah. yeah. Miami not close. Miami nah, they fe- they haven't had anybody recently. They're still at 18. They've been okay. there for a while. Um, I don't really have anything. I guess please just clinch the first seed. Philadelphia Eagles, because I need it. Um, it will be Friday, January 6th, and this may be the last time I say it. Oh. <laughs> I hope it is. I can't do it. I'm sorry. Bitch, if you fucking won a national championship, you would have done the same this fucking thing. This isn't about you. This is about me. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm it's changing about me. my mind. I have final thoughts. I can't do it. You know why I picked the Horned Frogs? I can't, I can't take this for another year. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I can't. You would do the same this thing. Isn't, I'm not literally ta- the same thing. I'm not saying what you're doing is unreasonable. I'm saying I can't do it. I have to watch Dwayne Dedman in basketball. The Marlins are a piece of garbage. Um, what what else? Inner Miami. Well, I mean, maybe they're getting yeah, it together. Is, yeah. Who knows? The Panthers are a wreck. So like, uh, there's just no joy. One more, no joy. One more. You keep going? Keep going? The, do- oh, the Dolphins. I'm about to watch the Dolphins out here do what they always do. Find a way to miss the playoffs by one game, no matter how much talent they have. And then the Miami Hurricanes. While, yes, I am very hopeful that you will get this turned around sooner rather than later, that time is not now. I'm watching Sonny Dykes 5-7 and seven go to the National. You know what? I don't care, Manny Diaz. I don't care. War crimes. War crimes. You are a linebackers coach, and all my linebackers Wait, are middle schoolers. All of them. I got a bunch of five foot nine linebackers across the board. I got them to do your final thoughts. This this is what I have to deal with. Tulane, you saw what Tulane did. They were two and ten last year. Two and <laughs> bloody ten, and they beat oh, USC. Oh, you're telling me they beat a team with no defense? Ooh. You okay. know Lincoln Riley don't do don't that shit. Care? I don't even care that they beat you. Two and ten. They finished the season ten and two. Actually, I think it was 11 and 2. It was 11 and 2, including the bowling. But, but yeah, Jesus Friday, Christ. January 6th. This may be the last time. Who knows? But your Georgia Bulldogs. God willing, it will be the last are, time. Are you still national champions? <laughs> That's really all I got. Just please, Jalen Hurts, win the number one seed. You fight all week, all year. He can't get them both. All He's year. He can only get one. <laughs> he can only get one. Well, I got his... one playoff win, and then I got fucking Gardner Minshew the next day looking like a freaking, uh, you know what? I'll stop. Better than nothing. Yeah. Teddy Bridgewater and Gardner Minshew had the same amount I of fucking I stats. I would rather have Gardner Minshew. No, you would he not have. finished the game. At least he and he threw a pick it. six to fucking end it. So did fucking Teddy. He threw a pick six. He did throw a pick six. Yeah, uh, that's basically what like cost the game. The yeah, game. it cost the game. That's basically what we're up by four, and he threw the pick six. Never looked back. Fucking threw a dot that, to AJ Brown, and then after that, forgot how to play the game of football. Have we had any loss this season that was more than like thirteen points? This year, yeah, the Jets put a beat down. The Jets, on. but that was a, that was like at the every, end of the every game. Every other game has been like a touchdown. At the end, because I can't have a quarterback that can't make it to the finish line. I got a quarterback room, and everybody's made a glass in there. I think the Vikings put a beat down on us, too. Yeah, the Vikings did. That no, was, no. That yeah, is, no, did. we almost won that game. Uh, There's Jan, no Jan, shot. Jalen Waddle fumbled the ball. Yes. Yeah, we but almost that, won that game. No, but, like, after it, well, that, they scored, like, two yeah, more touchdowns. Yeah, but that game was, that game, we lost all that the games, game basically, all the games are in this all year were close games. Reach. We never got blown out. I just can't find a quarterback to make it to the finish line. Never got blown out. The Bengals won 27 15. The Jets won 40 yeah, 17. For the record, it was a close game before two went out there. And, you know what I mean? That's where he got hurt. The so. <laughs> uh, Vikings won 24 16. Uh, 40, oh, 33 17 versus the 49ers. But that ended on a fumble, right? Yeah. Something like that. I think so. I didn't watch Danny that. Danny threw a pick that game, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and then the Bills was yeah. three points and the Packers Dude, were six. Come on, man. Come on. You can have reverse look at the Vikings. They all, all they do is just. Win oh no no! Ball. I'd rather have the Dolphins in the fucking the f- fake 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 football team. Not real. <laughs> fuck out of here! I know what they're gonna do in the playoffs. They go, he gonna get you I that playoff point. Them, no fuck he is. Right. Did, well, wait, what time is that game? game? What, what game? That Kirk Cousins game for the playoffs. I'm talking about you gonna get that one God playoff. Been the sunsets <laughs> <laughs> before kickoff. <laughs> yeah. He gonna have an ABC <laughs> game. You watch it. Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins a vampire. Ah. Can't play. Can't. Can't play. Uh, All right. 
That's enough. All right. This has been the latest and greatest episode from the Scorekeepers Podcast. We will see y'all next week. We out.